<laughs> I'm sorry if I have to go all Dr. Evil, but there comes a time in life where you just got to glow. You just got to glow. Now, I'm not sure if y'all heard about the breaking news. They've been, they've been wetting our palate these last couple of days on Hannity, and I know they did it on Tucker and on Fox. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't heard anything from CNN or MSNBC or any of them. Um, yeah, for the last three years, everyone on the left, including the folks that are victims of CNN, MSNBC's uh, propaganda, have been supporting these narratives that look at all the corruption in the president, Trump's cabinet. I mean, almost everybody he worked with or hired ended up going to jail and, and, and they were prosecuted, even though it had nothing to do with Russia collusion. But for some reason, these people who still believe Trump is corrupt or Russia has something to do with it, they base it off of all of the surrounding people that were being you know, harassed by the FBI and arrested to kind of justify why they say Trump's uh, administration is corrupt and evil. Um, of course, we know the game of the left and the FBI that was doing that was to create this perception that even though none of these indictments had anything to do with Russia collusion, just the fact that all of these Trump cabinet members have been indicted, then obviously that must mean that Trump is corrupt and um, he surrounded himself with all of these corrupt people. Um, so therefore, the perception is that we should always look at Trump and his whole presidency suspiciously. And it started off with General Michael Flynn. Now, this is a man who served his country, uh, put his life on the line, and had risen to a very high status in the government. Now, you would think that this guy, who was once the director of the Operation Intelligence, um, he, he, he would be hip to the game. He would, he would be almost untouchable, or at least somebody, before they would say, let's put him in our crossfires, they would take in consideration this man's dedication, loyalty, and sacrifice for his country. But when it comes down to power, control, an agenda, the Democrats, along with certain people in the FBI, they didn't, they didn't discriminate. Unfortunately, Michael Flynn was simply a casualty of war. Um, yeah, so he got hit with perjury and everybody, look, your boy, Michael Flynn, he, you know, he got caught lying, man. Why he have to lie? Why he have to lie? If he ain't do nothing, he shouldn't have been lying. Well, come to find out that there was a reason why he was even in the crossfires. And this wasn't no random, let me just pop in, see how Michael Flynn's doing, chew the fat. Oh, what? He said something crazy. Oh, you know what? I think he lied. This was a meticulous plan plot to go after Michael Flynn. Now, I wonder, since all this information is coming out, if number one, CNN, MSNBC, and all the other posts um, are going to be covering this and saying, you know what? That is pure, obvious corruption, uh, something uh, nefarious about that, and we should go ahead and point that out and recognize it. And also, are all those Democratic politicians who used their platform to accuse Trump of um, you know, colluding with Russia and all of his people. Um, I wonder if they're going to recognize this as corrupt. I wonder if Adam Schiff's going to ask for a hearing or an investigation into this, um, or is he just going to act like none of this stuff ever happened? Or, or could it be eventually his name is going to pop up on that list too? But anyway, let's listen and hear what happened so we can talk about it for a quick second. Breaking news. It is the moment. We have now been anticipating for a long time on this show, equal justice, equal application of our laws. Okay. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn, yeah. he was a war hero. He yeah. served this country honorably and Absolutely. with distinction, with multiple tours of duty in Iraq uh -huh. and Afghanistan. He put himself in harm's way for our freedom and our way of life. Right, right, 33 right. years of total service. He was unfairly and justly targeted by deep state bureaucrats that clearly, with all the evidence now to prove it, wanted oh, to take my. him down. Now... Yeah. These slime balls, these dirt balls. Now, imagine how you would feel if you thought America was the land of the free 
uh, you bought into it, patriotism, fairness, equal uh, treatment under the law. Um, you, you say, you know what? I have to believe that the people in power are good by nature and mean as well and wouldn't do anything to, to hurt me, um, especially if I've done nothing. They would never look at me as a a chess piece, a pawn, and say, you know what? We know this guy's completely innocent, but he's a means to an end. And then use all their resources and power and, 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 and stuff like that, the status, to destroy my life to go after somebody else. Do you imagine how, can you imagine how mad you would be? But not just mad, hurt, heartbroken. You done laid your life on the line. You done bought into patriotism, fairness, the law, the American dream, only to find out that people have been abusing their power to destroy you uh, just so you can get somebody else. Let's finish hearing a little bit about this. Newly unsealed documents that prove that corrupt agents from Jim Comey's mm. FBI Jim. were discussing strategies on how to set... General Flynn up oh. on what we call a perjury trap. Interesting. And according to one handwritten note, an unnamed agent asked, well, what is our goal here? Hmm. Is it truth, admission, or to get him to lie? Oh. To get him to lie. Is that our goal? So we can prosecute him or get him fired. Oh. Is that the FBI's role? Wow. And get this, in an email, Peter Strzok and his FBI lover, Lisa Page, they uh -huh. discussed how to ca casually slip in an admonition about lying under oath in order to set a stronger perjury trap. Gotcha. These agents were preparing for an interview that ultimately did take place on January the 24th, uh -huh. 2017, day okay. four of the Trump administration. I remember be that. told, it was an ambush. It was a legal abuse oh. of power, corrupt ambush. I see. Now, remember, during a phone call, it was Deputy FBI Director McCabe. He recommended that Flynn... I, oh, you don't need to have an attorney uh, present during the interview. Um, that would have been a Miranda rights violation. So let me understand this. Normally, if you wanted to interview somebody at the White House, you would call, set up the interview, and you would let them know that you are under oath and you're being interviewed. But for some reason, for some reason, they just downplayed it. They wanted it to seem like, you know, this is just a random pop in. We were in a neighborhood. Uh, Mikey, you got a, a minute? You know, let me let me get you relaxed. You know, let's not come in formal and come in with our tie pulled down a little bit, you know, one button, unbutton, like we're just out for coffee. We was in the neighborhood, stop by, ask you some random questions and then hold you accountable for it later on, even though you didn't know you were under oath or, or under investigation. Hmm, interesting. Should. Four days after President Trump's inauguration, Peter Strzok, one other agent, they visited the White House, yeah. and they were there to interrogate Flynn. They were sent huh. in by Jim Comey himself. Jim? James Comey bragging, remember? The Boy Scout, the one that said he's been exonerated, and finally it shows that he's uh, innocent of all these charges. Him and McCabe, they think they're scot-free right about now. But yet Jim sent these people in to conduct that interview. Huh, interesting. He sent the agents to grill Flynn just... Four days in the administration, he wanted to exploit the chaos inside the transitioning White House, uh -huh. something he would never do in the Bush or Obama administrations or administration or get away with. Right, right, right. Ultimately, that perjury trap was not a success. Agents saw no indication None. at all that the National Security Advisor was lying. Well, I'll be they darn. didn't believe he was lying. Okay. They said they didn't believe he was lying. That's true. I remember that. FBI turned the screws anyway. They threatened to lock Flynn up for years. He eventually went bankrupt. He had to sell his home. Oh. They threatened to prosecute his son. Gotcha. They ultimately forced him to plead guilty, get this guilty plea, making him a felon for the rest of his life. Now, why aren't heads rolling at this moment? Just this new latest document that came out, which is one of many that's supposed to come. Right now, they should be saying, oops, our fault. Uh, you know what, General uh, Flynn, we, we apologize. We apologize. We're going to go ahead and not only take this off your record, but we're going to reimburse you for all of your losses and put you back in the position that you were in, not necessarily as the national security director, but financially, we're going to square you up. And if they don't, after this all comes out and is over, he should sue them for more than he was worth. I'm talking six, seven times more because, oh, oh not just them, not just them, but maybe he might even want to trickle over to CNN, MSNBC, and the rest of them that spent ample amounts of time 
accusing this dude as a perjurer and a liar and all of this stuff and saying that we're peddling nothing more than than conspiracy theories that the FBI, the upstanding uh, leaders of the FBI would try to set this man up. The nerve of you guys, you bought into the Trump Kool-Aid, that's what y'all bought into, and now it's starting to come out, which it always do. I mean, I hate to say we were right, but we were right. Um, and so I hope they resolve this ASAP, and I hope they reveal the people who are behind this ASAP, and I hope they stick it to them. I'm talking, I don't want to hear no slap on the wrist. I don't want to see them say, well, we're just going to fire the person. I, I, I'm not trying to hear that. I'm sick of hearing that. They were trying to stick it to Flynn and a whole bunch of others, giving them crazy sentences for stuff that I'm going to say, what? They did what? I know some people who you know, got a couple bodies under them and they ain't even looking at seven, eight years. Roger Stone, people like that. All the people they went after, which we know in our heart of hearts, along with the evidence that all of those people were simply a means to an end. They were a target because they were connected to Trump. They were, they were just collateral damage. And as this comes out more and more, I want to see some head rolls. That's all I'm saying. I want to see some head rolls. Barr, Get it done. Now, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Um, and make sure you're still subscribing. Your notifications are set to all. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. The link's below this video. And also, um, if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link below to do that as well. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And don't forget to check me out every Wednesday night, 730 on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, and on my radio blog talk show live. All right, God bless. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.